right Matt so um, car looks the same but underneath quite different for this season with the new engine um, here at Silverstone for the media day test how's it been going so far pretty good uh, as you say we've still got the uh, the FN2 shaped Civic uh, the five door now um, but we're going to the next generation regulations for the engine and transmission so we're now S2000 chassis and uh, new turbo engine but same as the Fords are running so uh, I'm, I'm Combination feels strong, really good. How much of a challenge has it been coupling the two together? Uh, it's been an engineering challenge um, and a bit of a driving challenge as well because it's quite different. I know Chilton and Onslow used to go on about lack of engine braking last year, and I was one of the big doubts along with Jason. Um, but it, is, it does make a big difference, and you know it's much harder on the brakes and much harder to stop the car. And the other big issue is with turbo engines is the heat. Now, and trying to, there's a lot to package into the small engine bay in the Civic. So um, we've got the turbo in there runs at about a thousand degrees C, and because of the close proximity, that's about six inches away from the alloy head, which is melting temperature 600 degrees C, the cylinder head, and then another 12 inches further away are my feet. So it might get a bit hot. It's a bit warm. What about drivability of the car? Because the Civic's renowned for the the quality of the chassis, it's been a very good chassis for the last few years, but what impact does it have on the car when you then stick a turbo engine in the front? Uh, well, there's the braking issue, uh, there's a weight issue, because we're going to a more standard component in the engine. The engine's gained over 30 kilos in weight, and that weight's on the front, so we've had a big thing trying to get some more weight out of the car, and then we've got the issue that it's, it's front end heavy, so and that brings a balance issue into the car. So. You know, it's not all it's not all roses. Uh, Neil Brown have done a fantastic job with the engine and, and delivering us a great engine, which is drivable. You know, you always think of turbo lag and all this sort of stuff, but it seems to be very responsive. And, and you know, you always expect a little bit, but it's really, really good. And you know, it's working well so far, so I can't complain. But one thing that is probably likely, despite the work that's gone into the car, is that there are going to be teething problems along the way. It's just something you expect when you've got a new package. So, how important does it make it to um, to kind of hit the ground running when you get to Brands Hatch? When you consider that your main championship rival Jason has got a proven package that RML know like the back of their hands and which is going to be competitive. He's got, they've got everything going for them, haven't they? And um, I don't think we ever really saw their full, full deck of hand, you know, their full hand last year. You know, they were they're always playing the game a little bit with us. But, you know, we've been working on some other areas to try and negate some of the handicap of going to turbos. You know, we looked at uh, the Aeon Fords and their performance last year, and we tried to analyse what had been their Achilles heel, which was one was stopping the car traction out the corners, you know, smoking your tyres up, giving your tyres a real hard time. So we've done an awful lot of work over the winter with. Uh, Trying to put the power down better, traction, um, so with differentials, with damping, shockers, you know, and, and that feels that feels very good as well also so far, what we've done, you know, but that's still ongoing. It's a competitive grid when you look at the Aeon Fords, Airwaves with the Fords, Paul O'Neill now in a Chevrolet as well. How, to, how hard is it going to be to try and go one better than last season? You always uh, aim for the stars and you might hit the moon, so, um, you know, We've got full Honda backing now. You know we're a, we're a full Honda Racing Works team. So our, you know both Flash and I have got no. We're not making any uh, excuses or anything. We're out to do one thing, and that's win every championship there is this year. You know we'd be disappointed if we if we came away and we didn't. We, we fell short last year, but Jason and the Chevys did have the upper hand. I think it'd be nice to hope that we've got the, to turn the tables on him this year. Um, Anything can happen, you just need that little bit of luck on your side as well, don't you?